Hello, this is Crofty, it's Crofty, and today we are playing another episode of something flashy going on in the sky. New Horizons, season two. Anyway, uh, it's a bit uh, I uh, seizure inducing. Anyway, uh, let's stop that. In this episode, we are going to do something interesting over there. Yeah, it started a bit. Anyway, but a small update. I am getting space planned. Uh, actually, this guy is actually super useful. <laughs> I'm currently getting space plants. And what space plants gives us? Space flower. And it gives us... Real Jaeger, Jaeger Meister. That's something... And some strange space metals. But the most important part is... UU matter. I was actually planning on making an actual UU matter system. But apparently, Universe has different ideas. Also, besides that, I have this guy too. And this guy gives... Uh, UU... Yeah, UU Matter Berry, which also gives UU Matter, and UU Amplifier Berry, which is actually a conduit for UU Matter. So, yeah, we are going to have a, an amazing UU Matter production. Fun. That's yeah, super fun. But that's going to take... A while, we need to first handle our ore processing room. Also, we have a bunch of seeds now. And I will actually designate some areas for all of them. That's gonna take a while. That's gonna take a really, 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 really long while. But... In the meantime, we are going to handle... I have to fix this. It's going to trigger my OCD a lot. I have to fix this. Anyway, before fixing that, this area is going to be our ore processing room. And yeah, we finally going to have an actual a new ore processing. We actually have an ore processing, but it is currently... Logistics pipes. We need to move it to Applied Energy States. We also need to make some new multi-blocks. Industrial mixing machine, which is actually not belongs to here. More ore washing plants and industrial electrolyzer. Also, one more multi-block I have to craft. I, I need to craft that. And thermal refinery. That is actually the easiest one. Uh, between all of them, I just need this guy. You are requiring chrome, phosphorus, cobalt. Oh, okay, you are super easy. You are super easy. So, this area, these two layers will be the main ore processing room. And then this area will be the specialized ore processing. And maybe... Next to actually come to think of it, we can fit the main ore processing here, just here, and uh, some of the specialized, probably titanium and uh, tungsten on the second floor, and flat line here, <laughs> uh, probably monolith line there. Yeah, that's going to take some stuff. And yeah, uh, I will handle all of them. I will plan some areas and the mixing machine here. Okay, now let's continue. It was a bit of an update and I have to continue with the thingies. Also, our energy consumption is ramped up, so... One of the other things I have to start working with is... Let's go to the this area. 
And here I have a specialized seed. No, not this, not this. Click a read. Titania, not, no, not you. Ah, Reactor is also good. This gives us uranium, but this God of Thunder seeds, which gives us Torium. Yeah, either in autoclave with Yuyu Meter or this. This might be better option, but I have to first get some uh, Tomium. Uh, Torium. Not Tomium. That would be interesting. That would be interesting. But getting to Torium would be easy, uh, as long as I go to Mars again. Which is quite doable. So, let me just continue with the building. Also, one more option is Torium. Torium. I can also make Torium, which is Cauldron, which I have, and Uranium Draw, which I don't have, but I can make. I need Chrome and Diamond one. And yeah, these three. <sighs> this is gonna take a while, but I can make it. Let's look at the quest line. And be breathing. Aquada. Uranium, plutonium, arranging. Okay, uranium, plutonium. Not good area. Yeah, thorium. I. Yeah, I need to do a bit of this way. I probably go to Mars. I will probably go to Mars. Yeah. Let me just handle. Uh, let me just think of that later. Uh, in the meantime, benzene production might keep up a bit, or I might temporarily switch to uranium based uh, reactor. And this is bugged. <laughs> this is bugged. Hey. Yeah. Let me continue with the building. Okay, I think I have a general idea here ish. And then I'm missing some small process, like some chemical reactors. And I will actually add them later. But this is currently how the layout should be. And also, I put some cable here. I will. Create, I will have to create a subnetwork and do the things with the subnetwork and then move everything here with a bunch of uh, energy hatches <laughs> and a bunch of different hatches. I have to craft a lot of things, guys. And this is currently what we have. Yeah, the, the machines are ready with all the components, etc. But I'm a bit uh, low on titanium. Anyway, I think it should be enough for the rest of the stuff. Other than that, what we have? We have three ore washing plants, but two of them are... Is it showing in the... No, it doesn't. But let's uh, show you like this. Or washer mode. Simple washer mode. And chemical bath mode. Yep. Those two are in chemical bath mode. And this is in the or washing mode. So it has water. And it has one input bus and one output bus. And those two share one output bus. ME output bus. By the way, yeah, that's where my titanium go went, mostly. As you can see. Anyway, one input bus and one input hatch. For both of them. These guys. Uh, two centrifuges. One has this gigantic thing. Uh, it's super bus. It is 32 items. Uh, one output bus, one output hatch, and one ME stocking input bus. That is quite interesting. 
The starting input was we'll stock items as we provide. It it works like a ME interface. Yeah, basically like that. And this. Also, we have two electrolyzers. Uh, they both share same input. And I plan to use different inputs for master eaters, but I realized something. It's not going to be optimal for, well, one or other. So let's went both. So I will just use one input bus. Because at one point, we will get less and less raw ores, the base ores, but we are, we will get more crushed ores. And we have quad EBFs with HSL, HSSG coils and double vacuum freezer and quad multi smelter. Actually, that might be an overkill. But why not? Why not? Also, I add one input hatch and what well, actually two input hatches. Oh, that's wrong. And Dio, stop. You are not a tiny cat. You don't fit there. And please do not press my giant enter key. To who doesn't, uh, those who don't know, I have a giant enter key that is the first gift I received from my wife. I, and yeah, I cherish that. And sometimes my cats press that enter key. Anyway, now what we are going to do is wire everything up with both power and applied synergies. And then create a ME subnetwork. And one more thing, or dictionary cards. Which is expensive, because this guy are relatively expensive. But it allows us to add or dictionary filter. And or dictionary filter works with a regular expression. Yay, also one more update. This guy still continues because this crop is extremely slow. I might end up giving up. <laughs> and yeah, by the way, it was three days. Three days since I start uh, crossbreeding this guy. Okay, uh, in the meantime, I decide something. Since we are in a resource destroying spree i decide why not go with superconductors and i already made hv ones and going to make the ev ones yeah why the hell not it will help with this cable spaghetti a bit more and it will be more efficient actually a lot efficient because the hv superconductor carries 6 amps of HV with zero loss. But the recipe requires electric pump, tiny fluid, pi uh, fluid item pipe. Uh, this part is cheap. Some copper, barium, and titanium. And I just realized I forgot one more machine. Terminal refinery. Yeah, I forgot this guy. I forget this guy exists because I never used thermal, thermal centrifuges. But I will have to use one because it gives some, at least in few uh, ores, it gives a better yield. Okay, our ME subnetwork is done ish. I still need to connect this guy, but uh, it's okay. Anyway, everything is connected, and I put the term thermal uh, refinery right here. Yeah. And be uh, I can put it here because I decide to... Quad's uh, multi-smelter is a bit overkill for, 
for the needs at the moment, so I end up with dual one. So nearly everything is dual. Sifter is single because hey, it can be single. This guy is quad, and those three are triplets. I don't know what's the <laughs> three word of uh, th this kind of thing. Anyway, yeah, what we need to do is now program whatever we need, and then also let's see here. Yeah, storage cells. I need to add a bunch more storage cells too. But it will work for now. And yeah, what we're gonna need to do is take those. Also take some capacity cards. Yeah. And program our stuff right here and there. Uh, I might need more capacity cards for these guys. Let me just uh, look at something. Uh, is capacity cards? Yeah, adding more than one cup. Uh, if I add all four capacity cards, what is going to happen? No, I can't add more than. Okay, that might be a problem. I I will find a solution for it. I will find a solution for it. In the meantime, let me just handle stuff and Pamuk and you are going to fight. So let me program everything up. Okay, I find a simple solution. We can use storage buses. They have an amazingly good big storage. And also they have a really interesting uh, way of doing things that, yeah. It can be either bidirectional, extract only, or insert only. And I want insert only for these guys. All of them. One, two, three. Okay. I'm probably going to replace with uh, this and maybe this and the one underneath it, this with those and maybe this. Yeah, probably this. Yeah. But let's show what we done. First, or dictionary filter. We have ors. Uh, let's show a, for example, diamond or. Let's look at it. Or dictionary name is or diamond. And if we place or and in Turkish we call this symbol star, but I don't know what it's called in English. If you place like this, that means anything start with or and continues with anything else. This is the wild card. And then or. The pipe symbol is or. And then we select crushed. And crushed. Crushed or, as you can see, crushed blah blah. But there is also crushed purified and crushed centrifuge. I want centrifuge, centrifuged ones here too, but I don't want purified. So we add and and uh, symbol and comma with cr crushed purified star. That means starts with crushed and not starts with crushed purified so that is how it's this destination is programmed actually no i want only crushed purified sorry that is wrong i need crushed purified and crushed centrifuged and then we come here this one should be, yeah, this one is correct. We have crushed here and not crushed purified and not crushed centrifuged. Then we come here. We have ingot hot. Just ingot hot. All of them are ingot hot. 
And here we come. The last one. Dust pure or dust impure. Both of them are valid. And the rest is going to be manually configured. I put fluid ones, uh, fluid input output here because I don't want them to be automated. And then I will. Why we have two chemical baths? Because, for example, crushed meteoric iron ore gives us this output. Inside. Yeah, some of them are going to be processed here. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I have to categorize all of those stuff. And then continue with this uh, journey. Yeah, one of them is mercury and the other is sodium persil, so, uh, sulfite. And I have to put those chemicals from the main network. And yeah, that's the stuff for now. Uh, all I have to do is make a giant list of production or production, which or I should want in which place. And probably I'm also going to add some chemical reactors on top. Okay, it's mostly done. And what we. Uh, this part is not done yet. I will just have to adjust things. But let's have a look, have a basic look. First, uh, also, I removed a cable here because I, I remembered something. Those output hacks going to be underneath those. They, they are going to connect to the main network. Like those. And, yeah, we have two ores with us. Let's do this. And... They should start getting processed. Okay, I need acceleration upgrades here. And yeah, this is going to be our main thingy majiggy. And we have crushed ten tens in it. And you are going to get here, yeah. Are you starting? Yes, you are starting. And also there should be some... Oh, okay. Tanzanite is here. I just need to... Always active. Yeah. And this guy is also starts working. We're getting our outputs. I just need to... At the end, filter everything. Also, I need to... do chipped and float thingies i need to handle those two and stone and grain dusts provide antimony okay provide or should enter here why you are crash provide crash centrifuge okay i forget the stars okay now it start should yeah it starts working. It starts working again. Okay. Beta tests are important. And one more thing that I have to do is I'm nearly out of titanium. Actually I have a lot of ilmenite but I have to redo my uh titanium processing again. But luckily in the Mars, there are uh, some useful guys. And so what is your current status? Okay, you are really, really slow, my friend. Uh, there, are, there is titanium uh, ore directly we can get from the Mars. So I will go a mining trip to the Mars and then... I will process those. I will process all of them with our new friends. And you got... Yeah, you are also working. Voila! 
It is actually a really useful system. Uh, and one last part is last outputs should go to the main network. Yep. That's all we need to do. And one more thing that we're going to do is a really strange fella. Matter Condenser. I will temporarily place you somewhere. Yeah, let's put you here and then we need one Amy cable and one export bus. And we need to place a storage cell. And we are gonna make. By the way, we are. At one point, we are starting to make this guy as well. Currently, we are going to make this guy. Singularity. And let's do something. Water. Water. Come here. Yeah. We are going to put water here. And yeah, it starts slowly exporting items here without acceleration upgrade, so it is really slow. But I don't need it to be fast. It will slowly make a singularity for us. And then we are going to use that singularity. Why I'm using water at the moment? Because it's infinite. Yeah, uh, by the way, how can I turn water into an item? This guy allows us. This guy allows us to use water as an item. A drop. And actually, let's take some salt water. Yeah, as a simple jump start. At one point, I will add this guy here. And it will just eat the dusts, uh, stone dusts, because we are also going uh, pro uh, processing and uh, producing stone dusts with flowers, and we don't need extra thingy. And we have base ore processing done. Yeah, it was a fun experience. It was a bit interesting. But it is done. I have now our ore processing is 100% applied to six, and I will actually add this. Yeah, I will add this stocking input ME bus here. Yeah, it's what it is at the moment. So, this is Crafty, Crafty, and have a nice day.